Hi. You're recording me, aren't you? I am recording you. So I'm going to do a house tour with furniture. So this is the living room. As you can see, it's a mess because, well, they're awake watching Ice Age 3. But those bins over there have toys in them. And then you have our couch. Love seat, Greg. Then you have the kitty condo. Uh, <laughs> we keep this door closed so they really don't have access to this area. And that's fine. None of us do. And as you back up to more of the living room, it becomes a play area. Train table, cars, a slide, train tracks, a kitchen area with a table, fake food and plates. Um, that phone is to access the building. And then over here we have a tent and a tent behind the tent. And then this is our computer area with a new sign of where we're at now. And then this door leads to our laundry room which is pretty big. Some extra space heaters, stuff like that. Okay. I'm going to take you to this wing of the house. So in here we have all the cat litter bins because, well, it's better than enough for them to have their own bathroom. This room is mostly storage. Like we have all our suitcases here, some boxes, stuff like that. So wagon and randomness uh, one bathroom this is the bathroom i use to get ready to go to work because it's away from the bedrooms and then this is my wardrobe that has my uniforms and work related stuff this is the kids playroom which holds a lot of their toys i put that up from the last time they had a playroom. And then these boxes have uh, toys that are not part of the rotation, so they're hidden. And then their names. And then these used to be their old dressers from their room. And then the two extra chairs for their picnic table that's out in the hallway, or out in the living room. So let's move on. So I'm gonna go down this hallway and when you walk past, you will see a bookshelf and that has all of our shopping bags and then our shoes and our phone and modem. And then this is the entrance to our house. And just as you walk in, you have this little thing and this sort of helps us remember who pooped, who peed, what time they napped, what they ate for lunch. So then when I come home from work, I can see this and be like, okay, cool. We just haven't erased it since then. And these are the two wardrobes that uh, Greg and I have. That one's mine and this one is Greg's because in Germany most houses do not have closets so we are given wardrobes to hang our clothes in. So this is the dining room. Um, this is how we're supposed to recycle our uh, trash. Uh, yeah, Germany's very strict about their recycling program. My little china area, which has extra pots and pans because the kitchen's very small compared to the dining room. And then our dining room table. And then this is a fridge that uh, the military lets us borrow during our stay here because usually German fridges are very small. Um, just extra junk, broken chair. And then uh, we have this water cooler that we're renting because it's cheaper to rent out a water cooler than to buy a bunch of watered bottle, bottled water, blah, blah, blah. Okay. And then in here is the kitchen. It's fairly small. And uh, this is what I call the kid area. And you got a microwave and stuff like that. Um, we have a dishwasher, oven, stove, 
And then this is the German fridge, which is a lot bigger than the last one I dealt with a few years back. And Mom! Yes! My fridge is done! Okay. All right. So now I'm going to take you to the bedroom portions of the house. So the first bedroom I'm going to show you is the guest room. Um, this is where my brother-in-law stayed, so it's still messy. I haven't cleaned any of the sheets or anything like that. It's, uh, yeah. And then uh, this is the bathroom that we use to give the kids a bath. So there's no shower curtain. It sort of stays very kid-friendly. Um, and then... This is where we put their towels and washcloths to take a bath. It's very dark in here, but we have the Rolandas down. This is our room. We still have boxes we've yet to unpack for our room, but um, cats really love our bed. Yeah. But as you can see, that makes it really dark in here, so it's really nice to have when you're super tired and want to take a nap. And then this is their room. Um, we have their dressers and they broke this uh, bookshelf, but whatever. We just have it sitting there. And then this is their wardrobe, but they're closing it. Um, since they are, you know, too small really to have their own wardrobes. And then their beds, that's Bash's bed. And then that's Lucy's bed. And they like putting all these toys and stuff on it. And they like putting their blankets on the floor. It's, you know. And then we have this growing chart on their door. But the reason why we have it is their door is um, see-through, I guess you can say. It has this like glass uh, finish to it. And so we sort of blocked it with cardboard and this measuring thing so then they don't see us using the bathroom and stuff because the bathroom is right here. So this is our bathroom. Um, yeah. Hello. Not much to it. And then we do have a two car garage that is directly beneath the dining room. That the landlord's working on something with that, so you would basically come out and turn the corner and then leave. And then that's our minivan, and that's my car. And that's basically our house. It's really spacious. There's lots of stuff for the kids to do. Um, the neighborhood outside's fairly quiet. Oh no! So the kids can like come out and play. So, so yeah, that is our house with our stuff. Do you want to say something? What do you want to say? Say bye bye. Lucy? Do you like your house? Yeah. Bash, do you like your house? No! Of course not. Okay, talk to you guys later. Say bye. Hey. Say bye, Bash. No! <laughs> bye.